So let's introduce some terminology to clarify the situation so that we know exactly what kind of problems we're going to be working with. So consider a recurrence relation which generally is going to have the form an equals some formula involving a n minus i. So previous terms in the sequence combined in some way. Now there's a lot of ways that you can make such a formula and not all of them are going to be so easy to solve. So we're going to make some restrictions on the type of recurrence relations we consider. So a recurrence relation is called linear if no AIs are multiplied together. So it is linear in the AI in the sense that there are no products between them. They each live in their own term. Um, so for example, a n equals 3 n times a n minus 1 plus a n minus 3 plus n squared. This is an example of a linear recurrence. So in particular, we're not saying that we can't multiply things by some a sub i. We're also not saying we can't have nonlinear terms that don't involve a sub i's. What we're saying is that these guys, there are nothing of these form that are multiplied together. These guys each get their own term in this relation. And as a non-example, a n minus 1 times a n minus 2 plus a n minus 3 squared. This is not linear because, for example, in this case, these two a sub i's are getting multiplied together. So that is exactly the kind of thing we are disallowing to call things linear. And also, this is also not a linear term because this guy is getting squared. And that counts as well as being some a sub i is getting multiplied. So this is an example of something that is not a linear recurrence. So we are only going to be dealing with linear recurrence relations, which is things of this form. And for linear recurrence relations, let's make some extra definitions within that. So it is called homogeneous if there are no extra terms without AIs. So for example, AN equals uh, N squared AN minus 2 plus 2N AN minus 3. This is homogeneous. Because again, we're not saying that we can't multiply things by the AIs. But we are saying that we don't have any terms where it's something like n squared by itself. So each term has an a sub i in it. That is what it means to be homogeneous. Um, as opposed to, for example, a n equals a n minus 2 plus 2 a n minus 3 plus n squared plus n. This is not homogeneous. because this part does not have any AIs in it. So that is the part that is not homogeneous. And we will deal with non-homogeneous equations, but I think we will not make it there today. That will be for next time. And a couple more. A recurrence has constant coefficients.
if the ai are multiplied only by constants. So for example, a n equals 3 a n minus 1 plus 2 a n minus 3. This does have constant coefficients. Because these things that are serving as the coefficients of the a sub i are constants. They're just 3 and 2. As opposed to something like a n equals 3 n times a n minus 1 does not have constant coefficients because this term is not a constant. 3 n is a non constant function. And finally, the last piece of terminology that we want to introduce a recurrence has degree k if the lowest term in the sense of like furthest back in the sequence is a n minus k. So this k is this k. For example, a n equals a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2, the familiar Fibonacci recurrence, has degree 2. Because this is the furthest back term that is appearing, and it's n minus 2. And for another example, a n equals 2 a n minus 3 plus 4 a n minus 5. This has degree 5 because this is the lowest term the furthest back appearing in the formula, and it's n minus 5. So in particular, it does not mean the number of terms here. It means the index of the lowest term. So we are mostly going to focus on, let's pull this all up, equations that are linear, constant coefficients, and I guess you know, degree k is not a requirement, it's just a description. Uh, but we will work with equations that are both homogeneous and non-homogeneous. So there's a couple different cases that we'll have to go through, and we will see how to do all of that very soon.